Hello and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Multiboxing. I am the Red Menace. And we are picking up from where our last video left off. Uh, me and my five man group are currently in Iron Forge. Uh, let's create our group real quick. Just a matter of hitting the six key a couple of times. So we're here in Iron Forge. Uh, we are level six. And what I want to do here in Iron Forge is pick up my gathering professions: uh, mining, herbalism, and leather working. Now my plan is to have my warrior here be a miner, my druid to be an herbalist, and Somebody else is going to have to be a leather worker. I'm not sure who yet. Maybe I'll make my druid a leather worker herbalist. Or no, I guess what I'll do is I'll have my druid be the, I guess, the skinner, not leather worker. And maybe my priest be the uh, flower picker, which is easier to say than herbalist. So now I have to remember where the herbalist trainer is. Clothier. I know it's... At least I'm pretty sure it's one of these buildings. Thistle Fuzz Arcanery. It could be that one. Let's go in there and check. Enchanting. Oh, that's another... profession I want someone to have is enchanting. So, let's make my mage an enchanter. This will mean I have enough money to train. Yep, I do. Um, I'm not going to pick up any of the other professions just yet. But I do want to be able to collect any materials I run across as I'm leveling up. Uh, any mining nodes or flowers or whatever. Uh, so we'll make the priest here, the flower picker. So oh, let's find a guard and ask him where the uh, skinning trainer is.
so that's our destination there. Come up the stairs. You know, and since I'm here, I'll go ahead and I'll train her as a leather worker. That will help um, as far as my inventory goes because I can turn, like, ragged leather scraps into white leather. I need to buy a skinning knife. I just barely have enough money at this point to get all these things. But it doesn't really matter, because I should be able to get uh, more money as I quest. Alright, there we have it. We have all our, of our professions. So now we'll head out of Iron Forge and back into uh, the zone that's right outside there. Sorry, I can't recall the name. Karanos, Dunmarag. Then while we're running outside back to pick up some more quests, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Blizzard's announcement that they're coming out with uh, Legacy Classic servers. Uh, now I spent the morning uh, looking for news on on it. Um, apparently there's been a couple of interviews out there, but they haven't released a lot of information. Um, basically just uh, statements from Blizzard people uh, that they're going to try and make it as close to the original as they can. Uh, which is good news um, as far as multiboxing goes in terms of, you know, what you can do with the Unit Zero interface, um, whether or not you can use this mod I'm using, like Discord. Um, and it's important because uh, it allows you to do a heck of a lot more than you can with even just the first expansion, the Burning Crusade, where they nerfed the user interface quite a bit. I mean, they added a lot of their own user interface enhancements, um, but they really cut back the ability of what uh, cut back the ability of a third-party person coming in and making a, a user interface mod could do with it. I mean, you can still do quite a bit, but you can't. For example, you can't change a button while you're in combat, um, which you can do in World of Warcraft Classic. Um, the only news that I am really anticipating is going to be the news on the cost, you know, how much is it going to cost you per account, uh, because, you know, if they make it $15 a month like it was in Classic, then that, at least for me, makes the the cost of multi-boxing prohibitive, and I'm not going to sign up for a World of Warcraft account if I'm going to have to pay. It would be $125 a month, or no. It would be $60 a month um, to multi-box five accounts, which is... I'm not going to pay that much a month for a video game. Especially when I can find free methods of playing the game. I don't even know what this quest is that I'm picking up. Uh, oh, 
Okay, I know where that is. It's, it's been a while since I actually leveled in Dunmarag. Nothing. Nothing spectacular in here. Looks like we've got a quest there that I'm too low for. Those are my some of my trainers. I thought there were a lot more quests here than I'm finding so far. A level higher than one would be coming out of the starting zone, usually you're about level 5 when you do that. Hmm. Just one quest. That's disheartening. Well, let's go uh, over to Steel Girl's Depot. And maybe there's some quests over there. I believe. Yeah, Steel Girl's yeah, right there. Avoid these bears. Okay, here we have some quests. Turn these in. A couple of my guys just dinged. Oh, and I dinged as well. Looks like my mage is the only one who has it yet. Should be right on the edge, though. Nothing in that building. So I'll share that quest and use my six key to accept it on all my other characters. I'll check out here. See if there's any quests. There's a mining trainer. Looks like my warlock fell off the edge. I'll move him back up with the rest of the group. <laughs> And we've got another quest over here. Oh, we've got two. Okay. So, once again, these are all... loot quests rather than kill quests, which always take longer.
Well, at least it only took me two kills to collect the bear fur that I needed for my first character. Fortunately, these kill quests don't have a lot of people. There are a lot of items to loot. I believe... Okay, yeah. The grizzle pod den is down here. I think if we follow this down, yeah, it's down in that direction. And we'll just uh, kill any boars or bears we find on the way until we get all the items we need to turn in all five quests for this stocking jet jet steam quest I think that's, yeah, there's the rumble shots ammo. I get the feeling I'm going to have to kill a lot more boars than I will bears. Leather work, or skinning's always annoying until you get to level, you know, 15 or so. And I mean skill level 15 rather than actual level 15. Now, if we're lucky, this will either not despawn, and I'll be able to loot it for everyone right away. But if not, then I can go kill some mobs while we're waiting for it to respawn. Oh, no, it respawned almost right away. Which is excellent, because that'll make the quest a lot easier. Uh, go kill a boar while we're waiting for that 15, 20 seconds for that box to
Okay, so with that quest done, we'll go kill some of these uh, Wendigos. Wendigo, however you pronounce it. And then it looks like I've got uh, some Peace Bloom over there I can loot. Need to kill juvenile snow leopards, but a good chance that I'm gonna accidentally back up into them or something. So might as well take care of them now. Doesn't take any time really. be here collecting these window domains for a while since I've killed four now and I've only gotten one main even though you can't uh, my little quest of log thingy here isn't updated yet of course maybe the windigos are a better to have a better drop rate than the young Wendigos, or at least one can hope. Well, see, there both of those I got a Wendigo main from, so maybe it's something like 50 50 kill or, or drop rate, and I just got unlucky the first couple of times. Well, now they seem to be dropping at a much higher rate than I, they were before. Oh. Uh, let's put fine minerals on that little bar there.
copper vein over here. Seems like this is a good place to level your skinning and mining skills. It's also nice that I'm on an empty server, so there's no competition for these resources. My bags are already full. Let's keep going in to this cave here. Every now and then they bug out like that. You skin them, but you don't get anything from them, and the corpse sticks around. See, there's a good deal of copper in this little cave. Yep. Four nodes coming up. And I got a lot of these Wendigos I still need to kill, so might as well go in and get those nodes. A six of eight.
so I got myself a red linen room pattern. I think I'll make my priest a tailor. Looks like I got my last quest item for my priest there. Now, originally I would wanted to, before I started doing this, was to trade all my spells. But unfortunately I'm so broke that I couldn't afford most of them. Otherwise, I believe my mage has the ability to get uh, arcane intellect at this level. And my priest can get power word fortitude. Um... And I would have gone ahead, actually. Let's loot that with my other character. And I would have gone ahead and updated my user interface to incorporate those spells, but since I didn't have the money to do it, I figure I'll wait a few levels, do some quests, get some money, and then I'll go ahead and update those. That's one of the reasons it's nice to level up a couple of other characters first, because then you have some money to uh, buy things like your, all your spells and stuff. But if you played the original World of Warcraft Classic, that was one of the things you had to deal with, was you didn't always have as much money as you needed for th simple things like spells. I don't even know if spells in the current one, current version, cost money. But in the Classic version money was definitely much more of an issue. You didn't get money for free. You had to go out and grind for it. Which, at the time, we complained about. Um, but once the... Once the newer version came out, we realized that, oh, there's a reason that the original designers of the game did that. Um... It's just yet another thing that they could, another tool they could use to make the game a little bit more difficult and thus feel a bit more they give you a more sense a greater sense of achievement you know once you did buy that spell that you that you needed or uh, the mounts I remember it took me to like I was like level 53 when I got my f level 40 mount on my first character and yeah, it, it was a pain in the ass, and I complained about it. Why aren't these cheaper? But, uh... You know, the sense of achievement you got once you finally were able to purchase that... That first mount that costs 100 gold. In fact, I had a, a guild buddy once I finally bought it. Took me on a tour of the whole world. Just running around on our mountains. So oh, this is this place, and this is this place. You know, so it really felt like an achievement. It wasn't a gimme, you know, do a little bit and then get this thing. It was, you know, work your ass off and you finally get to it. Of course, that's one of the things I like about not paying for World of Warcraft is because back then, it, you know, one of my complaints was it kind of made the game feel like it was a job. Because, you know, if you weren't playing, then you were wasting the money that you were paying per month. It's, Um, I have a couple of uh, other characters that I started on this server. They're not, they're only like level 20. But one of them is a tailor and can make bags, which I should have gotten myself some bags made before I loaded this up, and actually, let's go ahead and 
and trade some stuff away. How much room does he have? Only four slots. Well, let's give him the Mage Royal. And... Flimsy Chain Cloak. And that's a quest item. So we'll go ahead and give him those three item things. So we're six of eight with that character. Which means we need to get eighteen more. Actually, we need 16 more, because this character has two. Um, normally, I shift-click these and just auto-loot them, but since my inventory is close to full... Oh. We'll pick up anything that is useful to my warrior, and then have my warlock here loot the rest. So, I got some warrior's pants. Equip those. And we'll get this last node. There's a couple more deeper into the cave, but... I think we'll run out first and see if the uh, mobs are respawning behind me yet. Well, and actually that might... Well, and actually, yeah, because I came in... Yeah, I came in this direction and these guys have already respawned behind me, so apparently this is a pretty quick respawn on these guys. And I don't really feel like killing a bunch that I don't have to. Ooh, uh, let's send these to my warlock. So rather than going deeper into the cave and getting those, um, ooh, and getting those copper veins, we'll just head out, and hopefully by the time I get out, we'll have all of the uh, Wendigo mains that I need.
So, just gotta level up for my warrior. And my warlock. So that's 8 of 8 for my Warlock on those quest items. Which hopefully means that we're on track to have completed the quest by the time I get out of this cave. So there's 8 of 8 for that character. So I'm two of eight there. Looks like I just need six more. And there's still quite a few of these guys to go before I make it out of the cave. So I'm guessing that I will be done with the quest before I get out. And yet again, my inventory is full. Yeah, definitely nice to be able to have some bags at this point, if you have a higher level character. My other group I made before this one was a, uh, a three mage group, uh, which is great for grinding, because they have the AoE uh, Arcane Explosion spell. And then you can have your main character, like I have my warrior here as the frost mage, and he's blizzard, and those kinds of spells. Um, one thing you can't do in this multi, uh, 
multi-box setup is cast eight, or uh, Oh, I have a blue pouch right there. Nice. And a green pouch. Nice. Well, apparently ask and you shall receive. I was complaining about not having enough bags, and... Now I've got uh, two more. So, I didn't even notice that other bag was there. It must have dropped recently, I think. But anyway, uh, AoE spells were like Blizzard, where you cast it and then click on the ground. You can't do that, because, well, you could, but it's really hard to switch back and forth between the windows the way you would need to. And you can't do it for multiple characters. It, you'd need to do it, so... Best to save those kind of spells for your main character. Sweet. So that was the last Wendigo main we needed. Now, if I was playing single player, I might I would be tempted to just uh, dash out of here and pick up these mobs and try and get away from them, but I'm going to fight my way out uh, just because... Sometimes things get a little squirrely when you're doing that with a multi-box group. And it certainly doesn't take much time. Huh. I just got two bags. <clears throat> lucky to get two bags off the same drop. That's probably a database error. That, I doubt that would happen in the vanilla version, or the retail version. But then again, maybe I'm magic, and because I was talking about needing more bags, the game just decided to give me some. Because yeah, that's four bags I've gotten, and just running in and out of that cave. Let's see, nope. Ooh, I must have, uh, accidentally targeted one of these guys. Because they were too far away to pull from just proximity aggro. So now I just need uh, boars and bull, bears and boars. And I think the most frustrating thing about that is just going to be the boars. So the Boar meat doesn't have the greatest drop rate, it seems. The, the bear fur seems to have a 100% drop rate. At least, I think I've killed three bears and gotten three bear furs. Let's see... There's a copper vein over there. We'll get that. First, let's kill these two bears. I must have been wrong. I must have got killed four bears and gotten four bear furs before this. Oh, and that's my first bear that didn't drop a bear fur, so it's not a 100% drop rate. 
Who knows, maybe it's like 75 or something. Peace Bloom over there, which I should have gotten as I ran out. do go about editing my interface, what I think I'll do is I'll reload, I'll add the Move Anything mod to my other clients, and use it to move my Herbalist mini-map down here, so that I can turn on Herb Finding and actually see like on like a same way I do down here with my warriors uh, mining nodes because otherwise you don't it's hard to notice them all the time so got a frost main hold quest. Wasn't there another quest that was grayed out? Oh, that's a warrior quest. It's probably for defensive stance? Or maybe that one is just the one that gives you a better sword. We'll have to see. Uh, but for now, we will continue this way, and we'll head back up to, uh, and we'll do this, uh, Rumble Shot quest. But there are quite a few boars over here. Let's see if we can get enough boar meat. I would expect there's some bears over here, too. I don't know, there's some snow leopards. Try and be on the lookout for more herbs, but I see a silver leaf over there. But we'll get this copper vein first. No, it's too bad I don't have enough money to train and two-handed swords, otherwise I'd use that practice sword. 
but it costs 10 silver to learn a weapon skill. And I do not have that kind of money. So I need four more thick bear furs and Thirteen more boar meats. I just got I got another bag. Hmm. I thought there was a quest for these Cragbore ribs, but maybe not. Or maybe there is, and I just haven't found it yet, or maybe I'm thinking of a quest in somewhere else. Silver leaf over here. Uh, you know, as quiet as it is, I think I'm going to turn the music on. I thought I so oh, there it is. I'm probably gonna have to kill the snow leopard. like skinning it generally takes a couple of tries at first and we got a co another copper vein over here Another peace bloom over there.
There's some earth root over there. But I'm not high enough level to get it yet. So should just be two more bear furs and a bunch more more ribs. Maybe we should get be getting somewhat close to the uh, Rumble Shots camp area. We passed it on the way from Cold Ridge Valley, the starting zone. How many more ribs do I have? Seven. veins. Inventory's filling up pretty quick. That black square on the me map must be where I'm going. of boar meat. We'll split those up and we'll send one to Pinko and the other to Doc. 
Ooh, he doesn't have enough space. Now let's go into leather working, and I can make some white leather out of our leather scap scraps. And hopefully it won't matter that my inventory is full because I have enough space for light leather that... <laughs> cool. And we'll just, uh... turn all of those red leather scap scraps into light leather. And then we'll trade over some bags so that uh, my druid actually has some bag space. While well, we're waiting for that, we'll ah, have some coffee. So you'll notice that the music dies, at least I think in the video the music will die. Uh, whenever I click on one of the other windows. So I think that says five. Yep. So almost done. How many bags do I have? One, two. He's a druid, so any leather I have, I can trade to him, but I don't see any. Okay, so we'll give Doc these two bags. And why not? We'll give him this cloth. And journeyman pants, too. Excellent. Oh, that's right. I should have traded the chunks of boar meat as well as the bags. And equipment. So I need seven more boar meats. I need a couple more bear furs. I forget exactly how many. At most two.
So it looks like I've got to wait. Until this little event here completes before I can turn in the rest of the quests, which is lame. So rather than force you to sit here and watch this, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Um, go have a cigarette. And um, I'll come back uh, when I've turned in all the quests. And we'll pick up from there. So I will see you all in a little bit.